Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. And today I wanted to have a very special guest come to the channel. She was on the podcast episode number 131. And uh, I'm going to make sure I have a link in the show notes for that episode. But I thought she'd be nice to bring to the channel because she has experience in terms of how to overcome abusive relationships. And I wanted Amanda Lee uh, to come to the channel. She wrote a wonderful book called One of the Lucky Ones. And, and just help those out there as we start 2023 with some tips, maybe five tips that'll help you overcome an abusive relationship. So Amanda, let's, let's help those out there who need to hear this information because they may not know that one out of three women and, and one out of four men have been in an abusive relationship. So share your five tips so that they can overcome it. Thank you. And thank you for having me. And that's the whole point of why I wrote the book. My five tips to overcome any type, really any type of trauma is the first one is you need to recognize that what you're feeling is trauma and the effects of trauma. A lot of times, especially in my case, I had two small children at the time. My focus was them. I wasn't concentrating on what was happening to me. And then it caught up with me. I was like, what is going on? It's trauma. You need yes. to, <laughs> I'm, I've experienced trauma. I have PTSD. I need, you need to understand and understand the importance of taking the time to heal yourself. You need to take the time yourself to heal and healing looks different for everybody. Um, for me, it was learning how to accept and ask for help, whether it was asking my parents to come down from Philadelphia for the weekend to help me watch the children or going to see a therapist for the first time in 15 years. The other one, which I was very hesitant to do, because like I said, I'm from Philly. Like we don't do things like this. We don't meditate or anything like that. That's not something we did like what? And I was hesitant to do it, but I, it was life-changing just meditating and learning those positive affirmations. And I felt ridiculous the first time I did it, when I was sitting there going, I am worthy. I am worthy of love. And then all of a sudden the tears started to flow. And it was just, it was very powerful. My fourth tip is get creative and creativity looks different for everyone. I never thought of myself as creative. So when COVID hit, I taught myself how to knit, which I would sit there and knit with my cats and my tea and completely embrace the grandma lifestyle while I was stuck <laughs> in the house and it helped. And then uh, obviously I'm an author. So that creative piece of writing really helped. But there is a statistic, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but art therapy has proven to be wonders for people who have experienced significant trauma. And then the other one is find your self-care go-to, whatever that is, whether it's taking a walk outside, going for a manicure, pedicure, grabbing drinks with friends, like find your self-care go-to and make that a priority. Awesome. You know, I love the last one because me and my wife, we get massages uh, once a month now. And the sauna is included. So uh, something <laughs> I had been doing, I think prior to that, I had had probably three massages in my life and now I get them mm -hmm. every month. So I think doing some self-care is important. Obviously it's good for the relationship when it's a couple's massage, mm -hmm. but I think those moments when we're in the sauna, we have to talk to each other. <laughs> it's like, so it's really a nice way to connect and to take care of your body. And that's mm -hmm. why I think we want to give people a path to healing. So thank you so much, mm -hmm. Amanda, uh, for, for you know being a guest on my podcast and making this short video because we want everybody else to be able to say they are one of the lucky ones. So I encourage everybody to check out Amanda's book. It was just released this year in October. And of course, to check out podcast episode 131, where we talk in more depth about this subject. So thanks again for coming to my channel. And until the next video, continue to be safe, be well and continue to protect your nest.